Hi everyone and welcome to week two of Info 649 Library Program Programming. The topics for this week are mission goals and objectives and their connection to library programming. So before we get started, I just want to go over a little bit of housekeeping. Um, please make sure that you sign up for a small group if you have not already done so. Um, remember to attend a library program um, by week three, or rather just any type of public programming. Um, it could be a museum, any type of cultural institution, um, so that you can contribute to the discussion for next week's discussion board. And um, also be sure that you are con contributing to the discussion groups. Um, you should be making one substantial uh, post and responding to at least two of your peers. Um, so let's get started with the introduction. Uh, for the next two weeks, we'll be learning about the basic documents that underlie the design and delivery of library programs. Um, long before any planning of a library program can begin, these documents should be drafted, reviewed, and made available to both staff and patrons. Um, most libraries have an extent in um, have these standing documents available on their website and um, usually within like 5, 10, maybe 15, 20 years, a lot of them go back and do reviews, um, especially when they have new staff, a lot of new staff, um, but we'll talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> Um, they provide background for you to understand why you are offering programming in the first place, and they communicate this background to the rest of the staff and to your patrons. Um, this week, we will focus on learning about mission statements, goals, and objectives. Um, next week, we'll move on to learning about library policies and procedures. So mission statements, goals, and objectives, and we're just going to define them. Um, to begin this week's discussion, here are some simple definitions of three of the most important guiding documents and planning tools for designing library services. Some of you may already be familiar with these terms, um, especially those of you who have already taken public library service. So the mission statement. The mission statement expresses the business of the library in terms of whom it serves, how and why. And that's taken from Jersan Gross and Holt, 2006, page 65. Um, it should be a short, preferably one sentence statement intended to inform the public and the staff of basic reasons for the library's existence. And it should be abstract. Next is goals. Goals express the condition the library is working toward, also quoted from Jersang Gross and Halt, 2006, but on page 67. In the case of the library programming, each program should have a set of goals that expresses the desired outcomes of the program. The goals should be more concrete than the mission, but still not clearly measurable. And we're going to go over some examples. Objectives. Objectives provide statements of specified, measurable results the library is committed to achieving within the defined time frame. There is usually more than one objective necessary to achieve each goal, and each objective must be concrete, realistic, and clearly measurable so that you can later determine if you have achieved that actual goal, objective. In other words, the mission statement is most the most important guiding document of the library. It says who the library serves, how it serves them, and what benefit it hopes to provide for those who use the library services. The goals and objectives should stem directly from the mission statement. And if you are going to offer library programming, at least one of the library's goals should relate to the provision of the library programs. For example, one of the library's goals could be something like providing high quality programs designed to serve the educational, informational, leisure, and social needs of the library community. Another goal could be something like to showcase and publicize strengths of the library's collection via high quality library programs. 
Goals such as these stay at a general level and are intended to underlie the full range of library programming. For each individual programming, program, I'm sorry, the program designer should design a more specific set of goals and objectives, each of which must flow directly from the mission statement. No matter how great a goal or a program might be, if it does not fit within the library's mission statement, it is not appropriate for the library. We'll discuss this idea in more detail later on in the term after you've gotten more used to working with mission statements, goals, and objectives. A sample mission statement, goal and objective for public library preschool story time series follows. Note for a real program in a real library, there should be more than one goal as well as multiple objectives for each goal. I wrote, uh, here's just one example to keep things simplified. The mission of the Smith Public Library is to meet informational, educational, and cultural needs of the Smith County community via its collections and programs, and to serve as a social gathering place for community members engaged in fulfilling these needs. Goal one, preschool children in the library service area will be prepared for beginning reading instruction when they enter kindergarten. Objective, to incorporate early literacy skills, training into 100% of preschool story time programs during the coming nine month school year. Note in the example above, the goal of preparing preschool children to learn to read flows directly from the section of the mission statement, which addresses meeting the educational needs of the community members. The goal of preparing children for kindergarten readiness is fairly lofty and not easily measured. The objective is concrete, easily measured, and very focused. To measure if it was achieved at the end of the school year, the library staff would simply need to check records from each story time, plan, and or curriculum to see if each session included the teaching of early literacy skills, using a checklist of skills and types of pre-literacy activities. Key to measuring would be good design of each story time session and good record keeping, maintaining the planned curriculum from each story time session. Libraries and other information organizations of all types should have clearly stated mission statements that are known by the full staff and are communicated to the organization's service community. While most information organizations do have mission statements, and many also have strategic plans laying out general goals and objectives, too few think to include programming as part of these foundational documents. Addressing programming in these documents makes the organization's commitment to programming clear and enables the increased dedication of resources to programming. For example, Vanderbroek and Rogers 2015 showed how moving the University of Michigan's library's mission beyond just ac academic support services toward broad public engagement enabled the library to create to create more extensive public programming and to collaborate more closely with the local public library. Drafting sets of goals and objectives should be the starting point for the library program design. Too often, library staff think first of fun and ex or exciting ideas and then set about planning the programming without giving thought to the outcomes, educational benefits, informational benefits, cultural awareness of the program idea. Starting starting with writing goals and objectives first and then figuring out what kinds of programmings that can achieve the desires goals seconds leads to better designed more beneficial library programs with greater value for the library community note that you will be engaging in the writing of goals and objectives as part of your final project for this course